Don't let the smiles fool you. This was a hard week, full of hard work, projects, DIYs, because I'm getting ready for my first market of 2024. And I have only been running my business for six months, but oh my goodness, I get down the dumps all of the time. I make semi-handmade gold-filled jewelry and a couple other things that I will sell in my shop that are also handmade. And in this vlog, I will show you all the behind the scenes as I get ready for my first market, but also I just wanna talk about the real stuff. The reason I have my business is because my husband almost lost his life in 2024 to COVID. And I want to spread love and kindness because I know what it's like to suffer. Hi friends, my name is Carla Yoro and I am a gold filled jewelry business owner. I vlog about faith and my life and my husband's chronic illness journey. And honestly, today is gonna be a really fun vlog because it's going to be a business vlog. I have DIYs I need to get done and I need to prepare for the 2024 market season. So there's a few new things we're gonna be doing around the office. I have a ton of market supplies that are just going crazy in my closet right now that we need to organize and i can't wait to show you guys i got new displays i have a ton of new things that are going to be going into my market so so many new things and i'm making a diy checkout counter that i think is going to work out really well but we will see i have been waiting for weeks for everything to come in so that i can get started on this project if i sound really winded i am just getting over covid i'm still a little stuffy but we're testing negative which is exciting and yeah we're gonna go probably to home depot because i want to get some new peck boards put up behind me and let me just share with you guys what the plan is so i feel super lucky that i live in florida so market season around here is very very long there's just a few months out of the year where markets are not done and that's usually in the summer months it'll slow down a little bit sometimes um but this is only i started doing markets in 2023 in the fall so this is only my first full year and i'm excited to kind of see how the market scene runs throughout the whole year here in florida but here are some things that need to happen in my office so right here behind me i want to put two more pegboards this is the corner of my office where i actually work as you can tell we need to do some organ organizing around here but up here i don't have any pegboards i definitely need more so i just made these which i'm going to show you guys how i make these two in this vlog i just made these new cards for my jewelry and i'm just going to sound winded this whole vlog i'm so sorry i'm still pretty stuffy but i really went on canva and printed out some business cards and then i hole punched um some different like punches so this is the one i got from amazon it punches that shape out and then this one punches out that tag shape and these both were under 20 dollars from amazon and the other one punches that out so now i have customized earring cards that are really cute and hopefully they'll fit on this display someone gifted me this at a market that i was just at so i really want to use it, it would be, oh lord sorry it would be so cute for scrunchies i'm even thinking of bringing scrunchies in so yeah thou those tags take more space on my pegboard <laughs> so i definitely need to add more over here so i bought two from amazon this one's from ikea but the holes on the ones from ikea are actually large like oval holes i don't know so technically these acrylic pegs that i have sh should not work for this so they're not super sturdy but they stay but the new pegboards that i bought from amazon should work perfectly so i want to put them since this wall is pretty full i want to put them along here two pegboards and so that piece of decor will just have to go but yeah it'll be more better use of my space since this is where i work on all my jewelry and then <laughs> lots of organization needs to happen here and then this lovely closet is a hot mess and a half so i bought two new pink totes they're right here stacked on top of each other so those need to get filled up um, with all the stuff that's in these boxes right here so we're going to look more organized and put together my markets and these boxes always end up behind my market display just sitting there and hopefully being pink they won't look 
as much of an eyesore so um yeah those need to get reorganized and prepared because my first market is in one week i am so excited it's been literally a month since my last market back in december the beginning of december it's been over a month so i am excited to get out there and start making some sales i actually have an order that needs to go out that we're going to package together i forgot i have an order that needs to go out today So this sale is actually really fun because this customer ordered three of these. I'm pretty sure it's going to be for some of her family members. I used to go to church with her. It's my 18K gold filled beaded heart charm and like Valentine's Day is coming up. So these make the prettiest gifts. And I think this sale came out, well I know it did because she commented on my video. So this sale actually came out of a Facebook post of all things. So everything I post goes to Facebook as well. I post mostly from Instagram. And she commented on the picture of these bracelets and she was like, hey, I want those. So I sent her the link, just commented back and gave her the link and then she bought them, which I thought was super sweet. So she's gonna get three of these. This order is ready to go. She actually lives in the same town as me. So I'm gonna go and deliver this myself since we have to go to Home Depot anyways. All right, so we are going to head out if my husband figured out what we need for the pegboards to Home Depot and figure out how to do this. So after we got back from Home Depot, it was time to work on this project. So I was literally running out of space in my one pegboard that I had. So it was time to get these pegboards put up. I bought these on Amazon. They're like an acrylic material. They're not super sturdy, but once my husband got them bolted to the wall, they were actually pretty strong. And then I got these pegs. I got a whole pack of these for like 20 something dollars. It brought a ton of pegs, way more than I needed. And they're super sturdy. And those are gonna be for my jewelry. These are the perfect size. I still have plenty of space to put more jewelry on there. And then my other prep board from Ikea will be just for like shipping supplies and things of that nature. And then my next project that I really was so excited to be working on and I'm so happy to report came out amazing. And I've already tested this at my first market because it already happened and I vlogged it and that will be the next vlog after this one. So if you are new to the family or this is your first time watching, subscribe so that you get to see how all of this comes together for my market but I got this shelf from Amazon it was around $89 or so which is super affordable and the thing that really sold me on it was one it was the height I think it's a perfect height Daniel and I are debating here whether this is a good height but I am wearing platform slippers like the ones that are like super in right now also for from amazon by the way i love these i'll link them down below they're amazingly comfortable and i have been wearing them non-stop love these but this thing i mean look at it it just folds it's like a freaking transformers <laughs> <laughs> but it folded and it's also very lightweight and it came with wheels which I'm about to show you in just a second and that came in clutch because in our last mark I will say the wheels the wheels are way too small I wish they were bigger because the area where I was located in our first market it was kind of like cobblestone brick type of 
you know what I mean it just didn't do well on it but it did okay and I was able to stack some stuff on top of it and wheel my stuff into the market so if you're doing a market that's not on grass or anything like that the shelf is amazing to wheel stuff into the market anyways I think it's the perfect height and I ended up wrapping it in these curtains I mean I needed one and it was the perfect width so that I didn't have to usually if I want to cut fabric I will hog glue it I don't sew I cannot sew to save my life but I can I can do some damage with a hog glue gun anyways I went ahead and used these magnetic clips that I got from Amazon I didn't really end up using the magnet I ended up just using the actual clip to clip this fabric or this curtain around the shelving unit and it looked like such a cool counter and that's really what I wanted to check out counter to hide my mess to hide my stuff but that it looked like kind of a legit spot that people could go to and check out which I find like you know the way that traffic flows through your booth is really important I want to walk you guys through all of it so the I kind of stretched out the fabric on here a little bit more. I literally had to use one curtain and it was a perfect width. It's literally sideways. It was the perfect width for this counter. So Daniel says it's a little bit too tall, which I kind of agree. It's a little bit too tall, but I'm just going to stand behind it when I'm checking people out and then I can come out from behind it and, you know, help people with whatever. So I think this is going to be my look at the market, you know, behind and then over here. So another thing too that I'm going to do, just one sec. Let's just love the actual mess my house is right now. Mm, okay, first of all, <laughs> it's just your stuff on the dinner table. Yeah, it's okay. not that deep. Okay, so these are my dining room chairs. I am going to buy like a director's chair, like those canvas chairs that fold up. So for now, I'm actually going to be taking this one, which obviously is a dining room chair and doesn't fold up. So something that our market people, market people, market organizer from the downtown of where I live kept saying was like, obviously standing eight hours in the market all day in the heat or whatever, <laughs> it's hard to do. But he says that we are going to sit down to try to have higher chairs because you're more eye level with people and people don't feel like they have to come into your market and like look down on you. That's like a little bit awkward. So basically what I'm going to do is start just taking a dining room chair with me, which is like not fun to have to carry. But eventually I'm trying to find one on Facebook Marketplace. So hit me up if you find one. Put the thing in front of you. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. See, so I can sit up here and still, you know, yeah, like I am so comfortable right now. Like I am so comfortable, even though when people come to my booth, I'm usually in there with them and like to come up to them. But yeah, like, do I look too covered, Dan? I don't know. No. Tell me. Okay. I mean, yes, but you're not going to be in there the whole time. The cool thing, too, is if I'm on leveled ground, I can just move this thing back and forth. But yeah, I can just be sitting right here next to my checkout counter. And then when people come by, you know, I go ahead and get them checked out. Super easy. So the way that I did it is that I use these clips and I just clipped in. I'll show you the back in just a second. So what I have on top is my iPad. That is how I check people out for like on Shopify. You can literally have like a cash register through Shopify. So I've talked about that before. I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but I'm obsessed with how easy Shopify makes everything. They can be a little pricey, but they're totally worth it. So the next thing I have is my card reader from Shopify that connects to my shop and cash register. And then I have my business cards on a business card holder. And then I have this sign. So this sign is for, I was going to say my patients. Oh my Lord, I'm a nurse. So I have to, <laughs> I have to switch my brain, but it says follow us on Instagram, 5% discount on your order. And it has a QR code with our handle for Instagram. So basically when people at my market, this is a trick that I use and it works like a charm, especially for the younger crowd, which I try to gear to, which are young millennials or Gen Z, Gen Alpha. Is that the next one? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> um, but when they 
prove to me that they're following me on Instagram and show me their phone, I'll give them an extra 5%. And most of the time, I just waive the tax. So that is a way to get people to shop. And then I have this cute little thing that decoration thing so i got this at tj maxx and i'm going to be using it because i'm going to try to do a lot of valentine's day markets so i'm going to be using this on my upcoming market because why, why can't we start celebrating it in january you know what i mean we have to be ahead of the game with trends when we're business owners or with you know holidays so that is going to be on there and it matches the total color vibe of my business yes. <laughs> all right so i'm gonna turn this around now the back is not as cute as the front but no one's gonna see it okay so i have a ton of space and a ton of stuff when i check people out and i love how it came out so one thing that i love that this came with are these s hooks that you can literally like if you want to get close this is what i did so these are my little bags that i check people out with and these paper bags, you know, when you have a customer there checking out, one thing that I struggle with is I'm sitting in there trying to like open the bag up and then put a tissue paper. And that takes a lot of time. So I try to have everything kind of laid out and ready to go for me. So I might pre-stuff these with some tissue paper. And sometimes the market is slow and I have time to really sit there and do stuff. So stuff that I do is usually I will... Uh, do social media and then I can like pre-stuff these with their tissue paper so I literally had to stick a hole as hook through two holes right here and then boom those are ready to go and easy for me to grab my tissue have my tissue paper I made this tissue paper by hand I need to get some nicer tissue paper because this one's already kind of looking crazy but i hand stamped delicate by carla this stamp cost me 20 dollars on zazzle i'll try to link to where i got it on what zazzle.com oh, heck is that <laughs> that's actually where i got our wedding invitations they're really good um so i just signed it on canva and then i just put it on zazzle so yeah so i have my own tissue paper i have some plastic bags in case i run out of my little velvet pink pouches where i put the jewelry in so all of that is already here boom boom for me to grab it's pretty close to me i'm not gonna have to bend over and then the rest of the stuff here is just random stuff this is like if i need some more earring cards then i have some earring cards here if i need some jewelry making i'll get that in a second if i need like a jewelry making kit I have it here, like if I have to fix anything um, that may be on the way there, might have gotten loose or something, then we're good to go. I have a bunch more paper bags. I have my little box for my card reader. And then this one, this is my soap box. It has a hodgepodge of other things, but I have some soaps that I sell. And I have our name soap tags. Soap box is what they used to stand on to say to tell speeches. So when people say, "Okay, I'm gonna get off my soap box," they mean I'm I'm done ra ranting. I know that's funny. funny. That is funny. Um, so these are name tags that I made myself. So I keep them in here, and yeah. So those are always in here, and then I have like tape which for these things sometimes you need tape to like get stuff not to fly away or whatever so i have tape yes i'm very proud of it like i had the idea in my head as soon as i saw these curtains and i saw the shelf and the way the curtains and the shelf worked perfectly together i didn't have to cut anything or hot glue it i'm very proud of this dan what do you think yeah it came out really good it got, i'm gonna be honest it came out better than i was expecting
I just logged off of my day job and now it's time to go to my next job, which is my business, y'all. Running a small business as a side hustle and you know, growing it little by little is quite a bit of work when you have a full-time job. So my husband was actually gonna buy dinner tonight so i hurt my arm i'm okay i'm on medication for it but i cannot well I, ooh, actually i can lift my i can actually lift my arm today yesterday i couldn't get it past here but then i also couldn't let my arm all the way down because then it would be really painful so it's been a difficult week i had covid last week and it was terrible i had a fever of 102 for like three days straight and then this week my arm is hurt so it hasn't been <laughs> a fun time but my first market of the season is happening this saturday and i've been preparing really 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 hard for it so i have a couple of things that are coming from amazon and i want to tell you guys what they were the first one is i just ordered some sheer curtains so i showed you the curtains that i wanted to use but i follow this jewelry brand called under the pine tree she's from the pnw and oh my goodness first of all her jewelry is so cute and second of all i love her market setup and she uses these sheer curtains from i believe they're from ikea and like they're super inexpensive but like her booth just looks fancy so i just ordered some of those and i'm gonna grab that idea from her and honestly i should do like and this is something that she advises people to do and i totally agree i just don't have the time to do it she advises to do whoa zoos you scared me she advises that you do like a mock booth setup so that you know what you're doing the day of your market however i don't have the time or strength to do that right now but my twin sister is going to help me and i can't wait for you guys to come and hang out with us on saturday what did i even order from amazon because quite frankly i don't even i don't even know what i'm ordering anymore looking back at this footage and just seeing how far i have come in the last six months and starting my business just blows my mind sometimes as business owners or ministry girlies or whatever projects we have going on mothers who stay at home girls who work whatever we don't celebrate ourselves enough and so i have to just tip my hat to myself because i have come a long way since starting my business and since some of the struggles that i have been through and i hope that you take a moment today to do the same for yourself when i was full-time caregiving for my husband and his his health was at its worst we really were not able to go anywhere a simple trip to walmart would take so much from daniel there was a point where we actually had a hurricane coming and i was working my butt off to be caught up at work which now looking back i'm like girl that didn't even matter <laughs> you could have lost your house there could have been a tornado and you're out here just worried about your job so my husband was very sick at the time he didn't tell me how bad though he was feeling and so he went to Publix and he's trying to buy water and he's you know going crazy over there with those crowds and he was at that time on hemodialysis and he was using a scooter because getting around was hard and I remember being worried sick about him but he told me that he could go out and get gas and get water and get supplies and he did it y'all like thank god my dad and you know family members stepped up to help us out and get us stuff that we needed but Daniel was so sick and it like everything was so so difficult but I made it and so these mirrors are kind of a symbol of like hey girl you look good tell yourself kind things i speak so unkindly to myself sometimes so i hope that this project will serve as a reminder to women to girls at my pop-up shops that they are beautiful that we deserve to tell ourselves these things we don't have to wait for someone else to come around and tell us we can tell ourselves that we're beautiful so i hope that this serves as a reminder for you as well to take a moment to say, say some kind words to yourself because you've been through some things and you came out victorious and you did it with the help of god you believed him and you're here and that's worth celebrating friends thank you so much for watching this pop-up shop prep video you might hear my cricket still going in the background but i'm gonna leave the vlog here thank you so much for watching if you're interested in more business content and behind the scenes content then please subscribe i am making way more uh vlogs about my business but also about my life as a recovering caregiver i talk about chronic illness here nursing lifestyle just all the things so 
go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.